Chairman of the National Democratic Congress, Mr. Siedu Ketia Johnson, in the company of Honorable Madam Betty Mould, met with me and my team to discuss the challenges relating to the voters' register. My friends, it was decided at the meeting that there should be a follow-up meeting with the leadership of the party and the Council of Elders. Today, at 1 p.m., members of my campaign team and I concluded a follow-up meeting with the party leadership and Council of Elders of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, as agreed after instructing my lawyers to discontinue the legal action whilst we work on resolving matters with regard to the voters' register through the party's internal processes. My friends from the media fraternity, at the meeting chaired by the former Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Edward Do Ajaho, all stakeholders at the meeting agreed that the party chairman, Johnson Asilunketia Honorable, would immediately set up a technical team comprising the technical representatives from the three presidential aspirants and the party's election committee to determine how soon the irregularities with the voters register could be resolved in readiness for the presidential primaries. The technical committee was to subsequently submit a report to parties after this had been determined. Hello, members of the media. As I speak with you now, our technical team is currently at their party headquarters to undertake this activity. However, despite the assurances given to myself and my team by the chairman of the party, the executives of the party, in an act of complete an unacceptable breach of faith went ahead to convene a press conference announcing that the elections will go ahead tomorrow without having resolved the concerns surrounding the voters register as decided at the meeting of the Council of Elders. As at this time, the party has begun distributing the ballot papers to the various regions and constituencies without our involvement. My friends from the media fraternity, I wish to iterate my commitment to the party and the grassroots. However, my concerns that the party is not ready to conduct free and fair election is evident for all of us to see. Taking part in such event will be akin to knowingly drinking from a present calabash. After consulting with my support base nationwide I have been left with no choice but will draw from the presidential election as I cannot contest an election which is blatantly fraught with irregularities regardless of all my efforts to draw the attention to same. I would like to sincerely thank my supporters nationwide for my unwavering faith in 
team DKD who have done a marvelous job over the past two years trying to build a party that, when given power, be able to govern, to rescue this nation from where we are now. I assure you that we will continue to fight the cause of the grassroots for the betterment for the party. And my hotel project, which for almost two years we've been given to the grassroots, will continue without us. I love my party. I love Ghana. I will do all that I can to make sure my party and Ghana saw all the time. Ghana would never collapse into a soul because it's a country I love. Thank you, my colleagues from the immediate fraternity for coming. Good night.